Hello everyone, it's me, Maya, and today we're going to talk about first lines. Seeing as how it's January and the first month of the year, I figured it was the perfect time to talk about my favorite first lines in books. Those, the first line or the first couple of lines that really grip you and take you in and make you want to read the rest of the story. These lines are ones that grip you and intrigue you and make you wonder what is going on. And for me, it's these lines that made me want to pick up the book and find out a little bit more. So now, in no particular order, my favorite first lines in books. The Mediator by Meg Cabot. They told me there'd be palm trees. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Once upon a time, an angel and devil fell in love. It did not end well. The Liar Society by Lisa and Laura Roker. Her email didn't move or disappear or do any of the creepy things I'd expect an email from a ghost to do. It was just there. Existing. Watcher's Last Stop by Peter Lorenzi. He's not ready. Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice, she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? Peter and the Shadow Thieves by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. A mango, thought Peter, the perfect weapon. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Ships at a distance have every man's wish on board. For some, they come in with the tide. For others, they sail forever on the horizon, never out of sight, never landing until the watcher turns his eyes away in resignation, his dreams mocked to death by time. That is the life of men. One Day at a Time by Danielle Steele. And it's white, so you might not be able to see the cover. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was an absolutely perfect June day as the sun came up over the city, and Coco Barrington watched it, watched it from her Bellina's deck. Love Story by Eric Siegel, a very tattered copy of Love Story by Eric Siegel. What can you say about a 25-year-old girl who died? Far, Far Away by Tom McNeil. What follows is the strange and faithful tale of a boy, a girl, and a ghost. And finally, The Pink Slip by Rita Ceresi. On my 25th birthday, my mother gave me... A man. I hope you have enjoyed these first lines and I hope they have made you want to maybe read more of them. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you will come back for more. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you would like more of these videos, please hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.